What's going on? It's your boy Hayes Allah. Chief was in the studios and shit. We here with one and only STP Fredo. You know what I'm saying? Mr. Bumblebee himself. AKA Lil Nacho. What's going on? Tampa Bay. Rest of the world, what's good? My name is Fredo. You can call me Lil Nacho. You can follow me on Instagram, stp.fredo. Check out Bone V. It's all on iTunes, Amazon, all over the place. Check it out. Spotify. I bet, I bet your neighbor playing it, riding up the street. Here's somebody playing it in the car. Especially if you're in the Bay, man. This is like the hottest shit coming out the Bay right now. You know what I mean? Me as an artist myself, as soon as I heard it, my boy Nova played it for me. He was like, bro, you gotta hear this shit, bro. This shit rocking like a bitch. I'm like, all right, man. But you know, like, niggas play shit from in the city sometimes. And I'm like, man, you know, niggas just yeah. Spitting yeah, that shit. Um, yeah. This is my daily routine. I wake up for school. I get out of school around 2.50. I go to baseball practice, get out around like 6. And as soon as I get home, average kid, wherever you at, producer, a clutch, they'll be already at the house and cooked up like 6 beats and I just jump right into it. Yeah. Straight from practice to the studio. Okay, okay. After the studio, that's when I, you know what I'm saying? Free time, I have a little female until every now and then. Back to the basics in the morning. Yeah. Back to school. You, like what kind of what kind of impact has he had on like your your I don't even want to say career, just like your love of making music. Like how how is it like working with him? What does he mean to you? you feel? Uh, he like he like the energizer. People used to call me the energizer, but yeah. it's like when we when we got together and we start working together, it's like he he motivated me to turn up even more yeah. like with his beats. His beats, let, uh, let alone give off positive energy. Positive. Just listening to his beats, you just might go dance, you just might go up stumping your feet. And, but yeah. So, so what do you say? Like, what's so you say like when you hear the beats, it makes you want to move. So like that's part of your inspiration. Like, what yeah. do you, where you gather your inspiration from? I like, gather. What inspires you to make a song? How? Do, what's your usual? Don't give away the secret. Okay. But like, how do you kind of do it? What inspires you to make music? I kind of like, I listen to the beat. Like words just flow, like it just, I, it seemed like I hear the words in my head before I sing. Like I can hear it in the beat. I just know what's supposed to be said on the beat. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so like Bumblebee, so kind of like yeah, break that down for me. How, how that happened? Uh, right. He just came, you came, it was one of the days you came to baseball practice. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I was at baseball practice when he was making the beat and my uncle Clee, he was like, man, he told average kid, he was like, bro, Fredo hit that one? Nacho hit that one, he gonna, he gonna make a banger to that one. Then AK, I had got home, AK was like, bro, I got a banger for you. I was like, for real, as soon as he cut it on, no lie, I, I freestyled that hook. I, that just, as soon as the beat right came on, on I just said that. Down with me, yeah, yeah, I run out back. back. Hey. As soon as the beat came yeah. on, I said that, and he was like, bro, he paused the beat, he was like, record that. Yeah. Ever since then, we just ran with it. So like, Shade Tree, so like, for people who don't know, like, what is Shade Tree? Shade Tree is we really like a, we I I don't call us because I because I know like it used to be a group right yeah. it used yeah. to be a group yeah. yes sir so like how did that like whole thing how did that like happen like, you know things just happen yeah. you know what I'm saying uh, that's my boy though talking yeah. about corn. I don't, I just know it used to be a girl, I remember seeing like yeah, Shady Tree, I know y'all used, used to perform at home. I mean, it's no problems, like we all, we see each other to this day, it's what's up man, you know what I'm saying, cause it, we have like three different like relationships, we got a base, cause we met on the baseball field, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, so we got a baseball relationship, we got a homeboy relationship, and then we had a music yeah, relationship, yeah. and with the music too, he just won't, we just do two different two different because uh, with that music i understand with that music it, it turns into business yeah so you got to make the right, right decision yes sir i, I get it i get it right. but we actually got a whole ep me and corn we got a whole ep ready i'm saying we're going it's coming soon it's going to be called 3 30. oh 3 30. yes sir okay so so that's one of the temple artists you say you fuck with yeah so like yes, what other temple artists do you like fuck with uh i rock with famous kid brick okay uh, okay shout out to brick a to the b j swift i really pretty much if you got a good sound in the city, I rock with you. You know what I'm saying? And I know a lot of people in the city, they they, they tend to play with the music. Like, how can I explain? 
like you said, people showed you music from artists in Tampa, and you just like, ah, like, you know what I'm saying? But I ain't gonna lie, we do got a lot of talent here within like Tom G, Jit Swift, uh, A to the V. I can keep going on and on. Yeah, the you know name saying? is just all about getting that light. Just, yeah, right. Yeah, right. the right spot. Right spot. But once <laughs> one of us knock the door down, I think Tampa gonna be like one of the top cities. You know what I'm saying? For artists. So you mentioned people like uh, Tom G and Famous Kid Brick. You know, they've been doing this for a little minute. And right. I know you've been doing it for roughly like two, two years, years, two years yeah. roughly. So like, what what do you contribute to your success and like you doing this music and you being able to like put out songs that people can vibe with? And also, you, I see that you only don't just do music, you put out the, the dance videos and right. stuff like that. So yeah. like that that alone, we all know that's a craze, a big ass craze right. on social media. People love watching the dance videos. So that's, that's the them, entertainment. Yeah. You, you're not just an artist, you're an entertainer. Right. You can do it all, you feel me? Yes, and just sitting here and speaking to you, I can tell you, you can do more shit too. Yeah, yes, Other sir. than just, you know what I'm saying? So, like, how do you feel like, you know, the uh, two years, what, what do you contribute to all the success and you being able to be so talented? How you are? It's my, I believe it's my ambition, it's my hard work, dedication. Once I put my mind to it, I'm new to it. You can ask my mom, you can ask everyone that ever had a conversation with me. Once I put my mind to something, I take care of it. Once I put my, once I made up in my mind that music is what I want to do, and I want to be an entertainer, it just, it just went on from there. It's just hard work and dedication. This, this what contributed to my career. So, so, uh, so you know, I. I see that you got all the ambition, you know, to do like what you really want to do. Like you say, once you put your mind to it, you can do anything. You feel yes, like you have the passion, you can do whatever you want to do. So, like right now, like what new projects are you working on to give to the people? Uh, I got an EP of my own coming out called The Last Day of School. You know when it's dropping, The Last Day of School. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And then I got this EP called Chop Rock coming soon. Be on the lookout uh, with Luke Kane, me and Luke Kane. Get okay. money, stay fly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's my big homie. We got some stuff. When I tell you some heat, we got some heat coming called Trap Rock. Yeah, okay, okay. The whole EP. All right, Trap Rock. Trap Rock. Last Day of School. Y'all be ready for them too, all right? So uh, Shade Tree, we talked a little bit about Shade Tree, so tell me like, who all is in Shade Tree? All right, well, Shade Tree is basically, it's a family business, so I'm gonna go out and say it's me, it's uh, two producers, Average Kid and Clutch, my little brother, SCP Dot Beamer, uh, then my mom, my dad, like, as far as family, all my siblings, all of us in Shade Tree, but family. as far as the music side, it's just me, my little brother and two producers. Okay, okay, okay. Keep it's the same time, keep it right. Yeah. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. So, like, I'm sure, like, a lot of people want to know, like, what's your favorite song that you have wrote? Uh, probably a song called Jumanji. Uh, it's going to be on the 3.30, the last day of school EP. With Kwon? Uh, no. Oh, no, no, it's going to be no. oh. Yeah, I got two. Oh, two okay. on 3.30? 3.30 is basically, like, we, it's like our brand. All right. When we do clothing lines, we, like, put 3.30 on the back of our shirts. It's just, like... I don't know. People say they keep it 100. We just keep it 330. Okay, okay. okay. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Um, so, all our projects and stuff, we're going to start it off with 330. So, 330 coming out, that's the, uh, with me and Quan. Then, 330, the last day of school, that's my project. Then, trap rock. That sounds good. 330, the last day of school. That's like almost the time. Yeah, school right. Too, so, yeah, that's a good one. That's good. Appreciate it. So, like, as far as, like, you know, music just that you, like, grew up on, like, what's. What's one of your favorite songs? If you can't think of a favorite song, who's like one of your favorite artists that you have? Well, I got two favorite artists. One of my favorite songs is from one of my favorite artists, which is Big Sean, and it's called Memories. Uh, you ever heard that song? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's yeah, one of my yeah. favorite artists. Actually, I think that is my favorite artist, Big Sean. Yeah, I just like how he, he, he like the most versatile. Yeah, that flow, yeah, he yeah, got he that versatile. flow. And when he spit, he actually talk about something. Yeah, he collegiate. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Lord, yeah. <laughs> uh, but another rapper that I that inspired me is Kodak Black. I know a lot of people will shoot you down if you say that. Like, oh, I listen to Kodak, or you must listen to, it. you know what I'm saying? Like, game and rap and all that stuff. But if you really listen to Kodak, he, he really educated. Like, I ain't gonna say he educated because I no, think but you can't to be say educated. That. Street, he educated with the knowledge to be able to live and move right out here in these streets. Right. Right. It's just yeah. different levels of levels education. Yeah, you it. listen to him, like, when I first listened to him, I was like, I don't know if I'm going to like Kodak, you know what I'm saying? But after a while, I watched his interviews, I watched about his childhood and stuff like that. Like, he got he got vocabulary and stuff, like, when he talks, so 
I just look up to him and he just make me want to educate myself. I know a lot of people listen to Kodak Black and say, oh, Kodak make me want to go do this, want to go hit a lick. Kodak make me want to educate myself. He just want to do better, yeah. be a better you. Right. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure that's what he hoped that his music doing. Yeah, I'm sure that's what he hoped to do. I hope I work with you one day. Yeah, yeah, sniper game. Yeah, sniper game. Okay, so like, I'm sure, speak, speaking of that, shout out to Kodak, I'm sure that people like, like you say, average kid knocking, I'm sure there's other people knocking. Just banging at that door trying to get through. Like, what, have you got any offers or any deals from any labels or anything like that? Yes, sir. Um, they are, they not like major labels, they was offered like, my life. Don't tell them, don't tell them, don't tell them. Okay, I ain't gonna say the names, but yeah. I got offers, bro. I'm gonna talk. Yeah, yeah, all right. Yeah, I just know my network. I just know my word. I said that in Jumanji, so I was saying, I was like, six zeros on that line, if you want me to sign, I know my word, and everything that glitter ain't fine. See, I was gonna ask him to spit something, too, and he even did it, I ain't never asked. <laughs> so, like, anything else that you would want, like, the people to know the fans, maybe the people who don't know you? I just wanna let everybody know. Well, I'm going to just say this. What separates me from other artists is that I don't try to be someone that I'm not. I just, I'm just myself. If you see me 3 o'clock in the morning, I'm smiling, happy, turned. You know what I'm saying? If you see me, no matter what time of the day you see me, I'm just always the same person. I'm always be the same person. I'm always be Freddie. By the way, Freddie is my baseball name. Okay. I just slipped up on camera and said, Freddy, you probably know me by Fredo Nacho. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fredo Nacho. I also play baseball. So that, but see, that, that's a good thing. That's what people want. People want to be able to, like, feel like they know you. You feel yeah. me? Like, that's the main, that's why people do things like vlogs. And, and I feel like you do a great job of that without trying to do it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I feel like you do a wonderful job of that. Yeah. I say that's what separates me from other artists. Uh, I love dancing. Those who don't know me, I love dancing. They say dancing is a sign of happiness. Yeah. They say dancing is a sign of happiness. Like, uh, I play baseball. I don't know if y'all know I play baseball. You know what I'm saying? I just signed a full ride scholarship to uh, Bishop State in Alabama. Big up to that. Yeah, appreciate it. It's in Alabama, Bishop State. But right now, I go to Tampa Bay Tech. We balling. I don't the baseball field. Shout out to all my Tech alumni. TBT. Right, well, I'm Hayes Allah. This is STP Fredo. I'm Lil Nacho. Y'all go check out Bone Beach. Stay tuned. A whole lot of work coming soon. Strap Rock, 3.30, 3.30 last Land day of school. We got it right. Oh, we we, 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 he gonna be getting we it, rock. man. We out there, yo. All right, man. Tell my face. Shout out. Shout out Average Kid Production. Let's do it. Chiefs, we out there.